Look at my shirt, look at my shirt, look at my nice shirt, my nice hoodie sweatshirt. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the neighborhood. It's Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Today what we're going to look at is the Pico Scope once again, the 4425. And what I want to do is first off say if you are here to learn about how to actually diagnose the car with the Pico Scope. Well, that's not really what this is. This is a lesson in learning on how to hook it up because I am just learning how to use the Pico Scope. I'm not even getting into the diagnostics portion of it yet. I just want to show how to hook it up to get what you need to be able to diagnose. Hopefully get the waveforms that you need to do that. So, since we got that out of the way and people understand that now, um, I'm going to show you some things that I use because I haven't done that in the previous videos and then we will go to there to the hookup and actually getting the waveform. So with the kit, the kit that I got from AES Wave, in the kit you get the guide. I mean there's also help when you open the program as you'll see because we'll do that again. But you get this guide and actually what, what, what I'm going to base mine on today is um, over here is test 7 the cam and crank sync there you can see it it's a good place to start but um, you know there'll be some modifications that we'll make to try and get what we want because all this is showing is the signal um, on channel A for the crankshaft and channel B for the camshaft and I'll show you what we're going to change but that's that then also to do this you also need to know what wires you want to hook up to and I use my Identifix to get me the proper orientation of the wires so we will go through this when we get to the car but I think first we'll go to the laptop and look at how to set it up there I will then show you how I have the wiring hooked up well, let's go to it. I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, basically I'll walk through it. And what I'm going to open up is my Pico Scope, the 6 automotive software. We'll get that opened up. And I don't know if you can hear it. My Pico just clicked it. It knows that it's hooked up. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I'll put a link to my last video, how to hook the USB up and stuff. We'll walk through where I have each channel um, and each BNC connector, where I have it hooked, to what color and where it goes on the vehicle. But um, we're not going to get any more simplistic than that, I guess I should say. So now that I have it opened up, if you go in under Automotive... And you go down to the advanced tests, you have cam and crank sensor test. So that will open up. As you can see, once you do that, what it's opening up once again is the web page, which this is almost the same thing that the book tells you, but it opens it up for you in this program. And it's uh, camshaft position sensor versus crankshaft position sensor. Uh, how to do dual tracing cam shaft, cam shaft position sensor and crank shaft position sensor. So we'll close that. Now it gives you some basic setups for the scope. You got channel A at 50 volts AC, channel B at 20 volts AC, and you have channel C which is off. I'm going to use channel C. Now I was getting myself confused, which happens easily, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what wiring, what I have hooked up to what, what color trace wire here goes to what color on the car and what it is. I need my notes for that so I don't mess myself up. So 
down here I am hooked to the I'll show you this hook up down there you won't be able to see much but I will show you I have the yellow hook to the crankshaft position signal which is the 18x signal and I have the red and that is back probed to the crankshaft sync signal the three times and then the green down here well you can't see it but my green trace is hooked to the brown white wire which if I didn't say it is your camshaft sensor signal so that's the hookup that I have using that graph that I I'm sure sorry the diagram that I showed you with the wiring so that I knew what was what and I didn't mention it that is actually at the ignition control module I did this it was the easiest place to get to to do this test so that's the wires that I'm on and uh, that's what's happening so with saying that what I'm going to do is channel C here I am going to set up to 20 volts and actually you know we're gonna go I found that DC works the best best and I'm gonna char change all of them to 20 volts and to the DC setting you can you can leave it on the AC it'll work on that too but I like the 20 volts DC settings for all of them um, we're just gonna hit the start now and see if we get all of our traces showing and we do we got our red our green and our blue so we'll let that at running I'm just gonna take you over here show you where I hooked up and how I hooked up and this is a um, 99 Buick LeSabre and this has the um, two signals the 18x and the 3x I'm not going to get into explaining that this is basically to show how to get them on the Pico scope that you can hopefully go out and grab a good known waveform to see if yours matches that so I'm, I'm not going to get into explaining that if you want to know that go to somebody who's good at it like Scanner Danner or Erico they have plenty of videos on explaining that maybe someday when I get down what I'm doing here I can explain that a little better in a video but for now we'll let it up to those guys to do it so as you can see I have the blue that is actually well you can see the blue but I got that hooked up to the yellow wire I have the green hooked up to the brown with the white stripe and then down here because I didn't have any more of these style probes I back probed into the blue with white that's actually back probe it's just setting on on this one so that's the way it's set up I told you the wiring colors and where they were going so now um, we'll go back get set up and we'll crank the car over and see if we can get some decent waveforms to change the divisions because I'm not seeing enough of the green there that I like so let's change the division wrong way so I went up to 50 I like that a little bit better so we'll shut we'll stop this and we'll shut the car off So now we stop the vehicle. If you would like to move your signals around and stuff, you can do that. And if you want to move your blue, come over here to the blue side, the blue axis. Get your arrow. It's a double-sided arrow. You can move this up if you'd like. Same way with the green. Get on the double axis there for your green, the double-headed arrow. Bring that down and then you come over to your opposite side where your red scale is get your double arrow you can drag your red down so now there you have 
you know you can you can align it the way you like let me go back over the red I'm gonna take that up a little bit so now you have you have your 18x you have your 3x on the crank and you have your camshaft so now you can do whatever you want with it to do a diagnosis on it you could come up here um, on this one next to the hand to do your zoom I would get at least two of the um, camshaft in there signal oops I screwed up I didn't go down far enough hold on ah now before I shut the camera off I boned my view up by doing something and I wasn't sure how to get back to it and I there's probably other ways to do it and quicker ways but I lost this view and it went to a view I didn't want so I went over here in the menu to views and I just went to reset view layout and what it did was it put it <clears throat> like this but then once again I went over here to my green drug it down went here to my blue scale drug it up I'm going to drag my green up and of course the red you'd go over to the opposite side where your scale is so what I was trying to do before was I wanted to capture at least two at least two of the camshaft revolutions and there you go so now if you get a good a good see that's how I boned up before so I just went to views there's probably a way to get back to your other one I thought you could click on this and I mean I guess I guess you can uh, there's probably a better way to do this oh well so once again I boned it up so I don't know what I'm doing but at least I'm getting practice and setting these colors up right so now I got the I got the two of them in here so now that you got this up what you can do is you can go get a good known, known waveform you can mess with this a little bit more to actually see if you have a problem with your crank and cam and the timing so that's uh, what you would do next so I'm gonna stop there I hope that that helped some of you out as I said I can't help you with the diagnostics of it right now this is just to set it up to get maybe what you want to look at so I hope that it helped someone and I hope that uh, you can learn to use your Pico scope and you're enjoying learning with your Pico scope as much as I am if you know better ways to do some of this please let me know in the comments I'm more than happy for some help you know constructive criticism is good so I would appreciate it and once again this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic with his Pico scope saying just remember if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off but I will tell you with my Pico scope as Ozstar said I'm gonna continue to do it because I like doing this thanks for watching take care see ya let's start her up if you stop me up if you stop me up I'll never stop never stop Ba ba da ba 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 ba